which is made Go Bills. Fuck cheating, blah, blah, blah. Dicks. Quarters formation here for the defense. Launches it down the field. Has the catch. That's his fifth catch of the day. The Vikings are down right now, partner, but they have been able to move the football. Ridgewater's having a big day. Can you see an offense working like this? It's kind of exciting. I know the fans are really behind it. There's nothing like watching a quarterback who's really got it going, throwing the football down the field, and his guys catching it. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. The Vikings come to the line, and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. The give. Breaks out of that one. Steps out of bounds. Well, Jim, now it's time. Even though it's third and long, you can't be over there, you know, playing it safe. That has not worked for you. Time to call a play. Take a chance to get that football down the field. Loss of two on that play. At the 31, here we go. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Snap it out of the gun. And Joe Hayden has the interception. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. The Bills offense coming back onto the field after a touchdown drive the last time they had it. And they certainly attacked that secondary and got there via the pass. Well, Jim, let me ask you this. How would you like to be the defensive coordinator right now? Because you're over there. You don't know what's going to happen. No matter what you call, you feel like, hey, the quarterback's hot. He's probably going to beat what we're trying to do. We'll go ground. They tap on for a loss. That's a timeout by the D. Get a ring for free Cardinal O'Hell. Second down with the defense ready to pounce. Second down and 12. It's a tough situation for the offense, third and long coming up. But it's a good situation also. You're leading the football game, so there's no reason to take a chance and turn this football over. Looking to avoid a safety here on third down. Quarters formation here for the defense. When you see linebackers shifting around like this, what they're trying to do, confuse the quarterback. Only way he would get a ring LOL to move from three. The Bills decide they will punt the football. going to sail out of bounds trying to play kick away from that dangerous returner. The Vikings and I have to wonder, where are they going to be mentally after that last drive when they were moving the football only to give it away on an interception? How are they going to be out there on this possession? Well, I think it's tough. I, I really do, Jim. You know, nowadays, quarterbacks, it seems like all we judge them on, they throw interceptions or not. And once you throw one, it's out there. You've got to get over that mental block and you've got to keep playing hard and aggressive football. That's the only way you can have success. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. First down at the 48. Bridgewater's going to scramble. Well, if you force him out of the pocket and you force him to run, he'll do it, and he's pretty good at it. Good job. Good job of hurrying up and getting on that football and trying to get the play off. Don't use the timeout here. Good clock management. Snap that football. 
will go no huddle. Now first and ten. Here's the handoff. He's now over 80 yards rushing on the day. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. Intercepted. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled. Being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. The Bills weren't able to get anything out of their last drive and were forced to punt as they take the field here. Do you think they are going to bury their approach, Phil? Well, I hope so. I think they will. They, they got a lot of information out there in that short drive, Jim. And you do that by showing different formations and plays. You saw how the defense reacted to it. Now you counter-react and see if you can get some positive plays. I'm sure they're tired of being in the three-and-out business. Oh, that's a bad business to be in. I know. I get in a lot of bad businesses. First down at the 16. Thought about it. Still has it. Has 12 on this play. Nice job that time by the runner. Gets out of bounds after the play. You got under two minutes, and you need to stop the clock. So he gets it done. They come to the line, and it's first down. Quarters formation here for the defense. Percy Hardman has the catch. That's his first reception today. Situations you go over so many times in practice and training camp. Know what's going on on the offensive side. How to preserve time. Good job that time by the offensive player. Get out of bounds and give his team more chances to get it done here in the first half. This will be second down. looking over the middle. Well, that is third long. I just say this, be very careful on the offensive side. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. The Bills have to get to the 49 for a first. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. They'll decline the penalty and let the play stand. Well, there's under two minutes to go. Good job by the offensive uh, ball carrier that time. He knows he can get no more yards. He steps out of bounds to stop the clock. Taylor's going to be in the pistol here. On the money. And he is tackled down at the 38-yard line. The Bills are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. Play number six coming up on this drive. The corner step back. Second down and six. It's Clay. That's his fourth catch of the day. The offense picks up another first down and extends this drive. They are, Jim. They're marching down the field, and I give all the credit to the offensive line. They are dominating the defense right now. Taylor's completion percentage, 60% on the day. Carpenter set to attempt the field goal. Puts it through the uprights. Needed plenty of leg on that one. The first half is complete. Larry Ridley ready to take things over back in the studios. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. He'll take it from the one. Shut up, Benny. Tackles made. That returns good for about 12. 
The Bills take the field here in the second half, looking to extend their lead in this one, partner. Yeah, you know what you do? It's halftime is over. You come out here. You're not sure what the new game plan is going to be, but feel your way into the game. Don't take a chance early and turn the football over. Taylor's lined up. No extra blockers for this snap. The Bills come out and a bunch set. The play clock's running down. The Bills call timeout and they'll have two remaining. Taylor's ready for the snap. Empty backfield. He'll take the snap from the gun. That's dropped by Watkins, who couldn't bring it in. Sometimes when you have a player with this kind of talent, you're willing to put up with a few drop passes because when he catches it, he has a chance of going all the way. Second and ten coming up. They bring in the extra tight end. Should have had it. Well, I think it's important for the defense. Anytime it's a third and long situation for the offense to know where those first down markers are, give a little ground, and make sure you're able to come up and make the tackle short of the first down marker. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Look out, they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. And he's going to be dropped. And that's a three and out for the offense. They're in punting formation. No chance to return this one. Is that to the sidelines? The Vikings were moving the football the last time they had it, only to give the football away on the pick. Let's see how they do it this time. Yeah, you know, that's a tough situation for the offense. You get a little confidence and you're moving the football, and then the turnover just changes everything. So you got to find a way to get your confidence going again. Ridgewater's now going to hit the ground in a slide and end the play. That's a really smart job that time by the quarterback. Pick up all the yards you can, and before you're going to get hit, slide in there like you're going to second base. Makes the reception. Jim, when you're down both of the scores in the second half, you're looking for the little things to get momentum on your side. So just get a first down. Don't look for the big plays. That was a good job by the offense that time. Bridgewater's completion percentage, 60% on the day. Austin's lined up as the single back. Staying with the passing game on first down. And it's Mario Williams who makes Mitz meet out of that play. <laughs> the Vikings take it from the 38. Very nearly intercepted. Well, you want to put all the pressure on the quarterback to make really good throws down the field. Play tight, man-to-man -man coverage. It takes perfect throws to get completions. Not there, that's it.
third down. 